Hello and welcome to Team Eye's website design video for the Abercrombie & Fitch website. In this video we will discuss the different cultural design choices relating to the two different websites in the UK and the US, and then make recommendations on how to strengthen the website and the brand as a result. Our team consists of two students from Aston University in the UK and two students from the Carnegie Mellon University in the US. As part of this project, we ran a survey comparing trust, satisfaction and loyalty within each region's consumer base. In the survey, we compared user preferences from, the bo from both the areas and collected a total of 34 responses. We came up with a list of recommendations based on four concepts. Internationalisation, localisation, globalisation and culturalisation. Internationalisation is the process of engineering a system that acts as a base design that can be easily adapted for various international locations. By standardising the layout for the ANF website throughout different regions, it installs a sense of familiarity for the user when navigating throughout the site. You can clearly see that there are similar designs used on both variations of the website. The sites have obvious elements which are similar to one another, such as the colours and visual cues which again help to build a sense of familiarity. Localisation is the process of adapting the original base version of the website so that it can suit a specific local market. Also, globalisation is the idea that the internet allows people to, from across the globe with common ideas to connect, resulting in some of the, the website features being the same on both sites. A combination of both of these is known as globalisation. The Abercrombie and Fitch websites can be described as localised, that is, they adopt elements of their respective cultures all without losing the own identity of the brand. For instance, the name of items on both websites are held the same. We have a dress, for example, that can be found on the .co.uk and the .com websites, and it is called on both of them Lindsay Asymmetric Printed Dress. Similarly, sizes are expressed as Abercrombie and Fitch sizes and not American sizes or the British sizes. Furthermore, on the websites, the size charts have measurements expressed in centimeters and inches, which obviously reflect both the American culture and the uh, European culture. Now, as far as the color scheme of the websites, they are really similar, if not to say identical. The main colors that we see are white, beige, and grays. They are very neutral, and this mirrors the same experience that one would have in a brick and mortar Abercrombie and Fitch store because in these stores the only color one would notice are those that are seen on products such as clothes, shoes and accessories. The rest let it be the walls, let it be the stands, um, everything else is usually very neutral, white, black, grey or beige. We therefore think that colors are irrelevant to our research because they are constant on the American website and the British website. Now we also observed how the home pages um, opened on both the American and the British website. On the US website, the home page opens with a sales and clearance announcement. This is a very local American culture because they are always excited, American customers are always excited about having the best deals. We also noted that American websites both had a sales section and a clearance section. Again, this is a very American tradition, the whole idea of clearance. Meanwhile, on the UK website, the homepage opened with a new spring season collection promotion, which reflects the local excitement of customers about, of having the latest clothing of the American brand. Culturalization is the opposite to globalization by encouraging the incorporation of the individual characteristics from different cultures. Due to the strong emphasis on globalization, Abercrombie does not implement many cultural characteristics as it is attempting to create the aforementioned sense of familiarity. Other concepts that impact upon the user's trust, satisfaction and loyalty characteristics when interacting with the Abercrombie website include the implementation of visual metaphors and the respective use of language including its text and tone. There are very few metaphors used on both the American and British websites. Instead of the standard shopping cart and home link that most websites do have, these metaphors were expressed as text instead on the ANF American and British websites. However, of the few metaphors that these websites do have, they are similar, such as the arrow to scroll up the window and the magnifying glass to search. 
Additionally, the American, but not the British website, has a speech bubble for customer service chat. Overall, ANF used a monarchist approach when creating its websites. As a result, there is similar content, text, and tones in the American and British websites. Clearly, these websites are not sensitive to the local markets. Both websites seem to emphasize female clothes, such as dresses for the spring season. However, the American headline, all clearance, buy one, get one off 50%, is different than the British headline, escape to spring, get dressed up for a new season of sunny days. After assessing variants of the Abercrombie and Fitch website, it is apparent that globalization is at the heart of the current website design, attempting to create a familiar transferable brand image across both variants of the website. After carrying out analysis of our survey results, which can be found in our reports, we have found that the current approach works well with the Abercrombie target market. However, as a group, we believe that certain elements of the website can be improved. These include the adoption of some elements of culturalization through the adaptation of visual metaphors and the use of language whilst not deviating too far from the current emphasis on globalization that currently works well for the brand. Here are recommendations for the improvements of the Abercrombie & Fitch website using the paper-based prototype approach. As the prototype shows, the user is being taken through the updated purchasing process that we wish to implement. It begins with the user selecting a project, product category, in, case, in this case women's. This in turn brings up the second web page which displays a, sec a selection of products in order of popularity, with the marketing message displayed, displayed on the top of the page. When a user clicks on an item, they are met with the quick view button enabling them to easily begin adding their chosen item to the bag. The user is now met with the quick view window allowing them to select their chosen size and add it to their bag by using the add, bag, add to bag button. The window will now disappear and return to the home page where the number of items in the bag is updated. The change that we suggest is replacing the original Abercrombie specific sizes to industry, industry standard sizes to create a better familiarity and understanding of sizes for the consumer. Although this is only a small change, it can help increase the consumer's satisfaction as they won't have to use a size conversion start at chart as a result. When the user selects their bag, they are met with a small pop-up detailing the items currently held in their bag, providing a brief summary of their chosen products and allowing them to Check out using the button named Check Out. Currently, the home page of ANF is static. By changing this to a dynamic layout incorporating a JavaScript slideshow, it will enable Abercrombie to showcase more than one of their latest products specific to the website's region. In line with changing the visual metaphors that are used, we will implement a change that will replace the original bag and checkout text to a more user-friendly visual metaphor with a bag symbol and shopping cart. As the current UK and US variants of the website are so similar due to localization, we have proposed making the implemented changes to both sites. This links back to our survey results with both site variants receiving similar issues with regard to trust, loyalty and satisfaction.